Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of my ESP Home series. So today we are going to install ESP Home on the Sonaf Basic. So we'll first uh, install ESP Home, then flash the Sonaf Basic, and then add it to Home Assistant. So for this tutorial, of course, you will need the Sonaf Basic, a serial adapter which is 3.3 volt, single row 5 pin header, and at least 4 jumpers. So first, let's open the device. First step is to remove both covers. Just remove the four screws. And then with another screwdriver, you can just open the case there. Don't need to remove any other screw. So this is the PCB where we need to solder the five pin header. So on this header, we have the ground, the three volt, the RX and TX and the GPIO 14. So let's solder the pins. What is great on this device is that the switch is wired to the GPIO 0, which means that for when we will flash it, we just need to press a button. We don't have to wire uh, something with another jumper to the ground. If you are using a serial adapter which supports a 5V and 3V, don't forget to put the jumper on 3V. So on your serial adapter, you can connect the ground, the RX, NTX and the 3V to your jumpers. And then on the Son of Basic, you'll have to connect the four wires. So the first at the top is a 3V. Then we have the RX that we must connect to the TX of the uh, serial adapter, uh, the TX that we connect to the RX, and finally the ground. And that's it. So now what we need is just to put this set of basic into the pro programming mode. So to do that, we have to press the uh, button, hold it, and then we, we plug the serial adapter. And then we can release our uh, fingers from the button. Right there. So now it's supposed to be in programming mode. To install the SP Home on the device, you will have to download Python if you don't already have it. So you can just go on their python.org website, download the last version. And then you will need the configuration file uh, for ESP Home. So I wrote it, you can just download it from uh, my website. The link is in the de description. So once download, you open a command prompt. To install ESP Home, you just have to write pip install ESP Home. Once it's installed, there is a new command which is ESP on. And then you can write the file name that you just downloaded. In our case, it's uh, node configuration.yaml. And add the run command like this. So this will compute the, f the configuration file into the firmware to upload to the uh, Son of Basic. So the first time we flash it, we'll have to use the serial port. So just select your serial port there. And after that, you can use the uh, over the air method. So while the firmware is getting uploaded, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next tutorials. Now that everything is uh, uploaded, we can just remove all the words, unplug everything and put the PCB back in uh, the son of case. Let's just do a quick test, so we'll plug it into the main. When you will connect something on the output side, don't forget to plug it back with the ground here. 
So let's plug it. So now we should be ready to add it to OM Assistant. So in OM Assistant, you just have to go on your settings, you click on the gear, then integration. Just add a new ESP OM integration. the name of your node.local regarding the port you can let it by default if you didn't change it in the configuration file and then you can press submit great so now we see that OMS Sam found it we can just take a look at what he found right here and now we see the switch that we have on the setup basic and the really so if I press the switch, let's just see it turn it on like this. And each time with the configuration, we set that each time we press the switch, it will toggle the relay. And then on the UI, we can also turn it on manually. And that's it, we're done. So the setup basic is flash added to Home Assistant. It's pretty easy to upload the new firmware, either with the serial adapter or over the air. As always, thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see the next tutorial. Bye!